hello, this is Josh, and welcome back to another episode on this series of video tutorials for MooLab. This video will be a brief tutorial on using automation. Now, what is automation? To briefly describe automation is it's the ability to record events that change over time. A very uh, typical use of this kind of technique is taking a, f a filter and uh, automating a filter sweep. Let's do that. Let's grab a base. Let's try that. We'll drag this rack up to here to create a new track for that rack. Let's give ourselves four measures. Put the loop on, double click to create a part or sequence. And I'm just going to put in a long note for this example. Make it go all the way to the loop, the loop point. And so we just have this long sustaining note all the way and it'll just loop back over itself. Pretty boring. But what I can do is right click on this track. From the drop down I can choose add automation subtrack. And now it's going to ask me basically what do I want to automate. Uh, I need to pick a parameter. I can use a common parameter which you can automate to gain stereo panning, stereo width, and mute which is basically automating features of the rack itself. Or from this um, base preset, filter frequency, modulation depth, filter decay, main volume, and then the poly synth has all kinds of things you can choose to automate. I want to automate just the filter frequency, so I'll choose that one. And now it's created another track that's nested underneath this one. I'll double click again to create a clip. And double clicking this brings me to a window that looks similar to the piano roll except without the notes. Now what do you do with this? Well, you can double click or command, holding down command, changes your cursor to the pencil, and you can draw in these nodes. And these nodes work by telling the parameter that they're linked to what value it should have over time. So we have the filter frequency here. Down here it would be the lowest it goes is 16.4. The highest it goes is this 25,000 number. Grabbing kind of in the middle you'll see a little circle and you can give it a curve. Something like that. And let's bring it out just about here. Command click again and we'll make it fade out right at the very end. Now we can hear how that sounds. And watch the filter frequency here. So you could do this with any parameter and any number of parameters. I'm going to open a session and show you how I've used automation in a musical way so you can hear it in context. Okay, so here you can see by an, this little uh, arrow indicator that I can twirl this down and show more tracks on this, I can show more subtracks on this track. And I'll solo this bass first, and so you can hear how this sounds. And with the rest of the track, it sounds like this.
So that's a brief tutorial on how you can use automation to create more emotion and change sounds over time in your arrangements. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.